Every once in a while, a product comes around that changes everything. In 2020, when everyone was dying, we introduced pomade. The following year, 2021, when everyone was still kind of dying, we introduced bags. It revolutionized the way people carry their shit. But today we are introducing another revolutionary product that will change the world. Cancer. Every day, every single one of you out there have been putting toxic chemicals into your bloodstream through your old deodorant. You see these ingredients? What do they even mean? Nobody knows. It's a bunch of crap you can't even pronounce. Try to read those. I'm not even gonna try. All of this stuff is going through your pores into your bloodstream and Give me cancer. Don't believe me? Today we unveil to the world a revolutionary deodorant. Years of research and development have gone into creating this perfect deodorant. Jeff's Barbershop deodorant. This new product is made with ingredients you can pronounce. Clean, great smelling, aluminum free, cancer free. The right scent can bring you back to a nostalgic childhood memory that makes you happy. The right scent could get you the girl of your dreams or guy. The right scent can change your life. And that's what this deodorant will do. Jeff's Barbershop deodorant out now. Wow, it is good to be back here Bro, in the come shop. Come on. I think that burned me right on my pants. And knocked Jonah's head off. <laughs> <laughs> oh, what a shame. We're just over here reminiscing of the old shop. So we just wanted to do a little video back from the barbershop where it all started. And who better to have here than my dear friend Mike, who I've grown very close with after all of the falling outs, drama, horrible things that happened, cover ups and controversies. Mike's been there for me and we actually met through this show, believe it or not. He was suggested by one of our old producers that's no longer with us. He's still alive, he's just not on, uh, he's working on other stuff. And when he first suggested Mike to come on the show, I said, no, f that guy, he's just a clout chaser. I don't really get the hype behind him. You know, what's the big deal? He's just friends with Logan Paul. He's just dating that porn star at the time. Now I know she's a, a great girl and it didn't work out, but let me tell you what did work out, mine and Mike's friendship. And he still trusts me to cut his hair, kind of. First time I cut your hair was before the accident, you see? Wait, which accident? Oh, it was right after, yeah, cause the f Fishing poles right there that ripped your eye out. You talking about the accident with the crane, or are you talking about when you almost cut my crane. hand off? Yeah, yeah. Oh no, that's that we'll get to later on. Okay. So we just wanted to check in with you guys and sort of recap this year. So where do we start? We kind of didn't really post that much this year. Wait, I'm sorry. Is this a best of? I I sat down just to get a, a quick shape up. <laughs> no, I didn't well, know. This is gonna be a three-hour segment right now. All right, let's put this away and let's get to this haircut. We started off the year by going on that trip to Utah for my birthday. That's right. What a great trip. And we actually made two versions of the vlog because one was a little more personal and sadder because I had eye surgery. But it was nice to go to Utah with all my friends and have a little, you know, snowed in cabin trip. That was the trip where I really solidified my relationship with your crew. Yeah. And you blew up Steven and then Steven got an ego and then he got addicted to cocaine. Started hanging out with new friends and we lost him. And it all stemmed back from that trip. Sometimes you got to do that. You just got to throw him into the ether, see what happens. Yeah. You know, these guys have all had their shot at fame. Uh -huh. They don't like it much. They like friends, family. That's right. Morality. Consistency. Tacos. <laughs> Racism. <laughs> Racism. Mike, what are you? 
Hungarian. You, you couldn't come up with a racist thing against me if you tried. <laughs> no one knows a single thing about my people. A Hungarian for burgers, that's what he is. <laughs> <laughs> I still got it here in the barbershop. Yeah, go ahead, call me f old. I'll do this shit Hungarian for the rest of my life. Till I die. Where's Joan at now? <laughs> look at him. Head. Oh, oh his head rolled away. That's what happens. 2021 was a year of betrayal. 2022 is a year of making new friends and starting businesses, really successful ones like these. Also, I'm working on my new book called The Sixth Vital. <laughs> oh yeah, the season of the Airstream. That didn't go very well. Logan launched Prime and it took over the world. And some are saying he will even be a billionaire. And what happens when people get a taste of that kind of money? They forget who their old friends are. And that's what's gonna happen to this guy here very soon. It already happened. A lot of you guys here out in the public haven't seen this, but we did some Patreon vlogs that never saw the light of day because they're behind a paywall. And I'm just feeling so generous to everybody that I just wanna show some of the clips of what's going on over there on Patreon. Are we not on the clock? Are we not on the job? Are we not on a mission here? Are you pissing yourself? Even <laughs> real piss. We had a bunch of men living in a house together. Some ex-convicts, some batshit crazy Albanians, and some Irish people that you can't even understand. You, you, you wanna humble them? We'll give them some humble pie, give them a right hand. All living in a house. What's gonna happen? I'm not playing games with them. If, they're if they think this is still a joke, I'm just gonna start taking their luggage and throwing it out. Hey, you guys wanna have fun? You wanna play games? You're out of the content home. Don't find a new life. It's not so funny anymore, huh? This ain't the f***ing Nelf boys. We're not ah, in people's ears. You f*** up, you get your shit, you get out. Go f*** yourself. Well, the show got canceled after one episode. <laughs> so we can only show you that one 30 second clip. This year we got our products in stores and we launched the deodorant today. Many years in the works and I'm just so excited. We did a few barbershop episodes this year. We did iDubs, Vinny Hacker, huge hit. The girls love him nowadays. Yeah, so does Steven. And then we did Sugar Sean, who got is now it. the number one ranked Bantamweight, which we predicted in the episode, believe it or not. Now visualize your next opponents in the future. Peter, little Peter, on, okay. You need full, complete control of your mind. Mm. Just breathe. Ah! Oh, let's just f***ing forget that Oliver Tree episode ever happened. We got a uh, four shot. Yeah, he looks like a piece of sh sweat. I can't see, that's my blind spot. I don't give right? a shit. Now you're telling me your weaknesses and I'm gonna exploit them. A shit episode. He fing promoted a, a fake concert the whole episode. I'm telling you right now, if you wanna make this up to me, you'd come to every stop on my entire US tour. All the fing dates, dude. And then canceled it and kept all the money and fing scammed all his fans. I want nothing to do with that guy. I got no business with him. But one good thing that came out of that was we got Ethan Klein onto the barbershop. The Ethan episode was nice. We gave him this ridiculous hair cut from a wheel spin. He got canceled and he was over all the news publications with this stupid double mohawk that we gave him. <laughs> Speaking of Ethan Klein, me and Jeff went on his show this year to squash the beef after mm -hmm. all this time. Mm -hmm. He's a real one. And we got off to a bad start, kind of like how Mike and I did. But now I would go as far as to say he's family. As you can see, I got the Teddy Fresh hat. Gotta support your allies. If Ethan Klein's in a beef, we're in a beef. We almost had to go to have beef with Bradley Martin. But luckily they were able to squash it too. You're lucky, Bradley because I would have wrestled you down to the ground. I hate to do this because I love you guys, but is there any chance that I can actually get some of the haircut done right now too? Because I got I to gotta shuffle out of We're only halfway point. through the year, I think, right? Yeah, yeah but don't you think that's by the halfway point you should probably have half of the haircut done? Yeah, we also had Young Gravy on the barbershop, and right before the episode, we both did a bunch of CBD gummies that also had THC in them, and we were f***ed up out of our minds. But nobody could really tell because we usually see them like that every episode. <laughs> Good time though. Oh, we went to Europe. Yeah, with Mike, Mykonos trip. Great trip. By the Million way. dollar vacation. It was the last night at Scorpios. Very popular nightclub over there. I called it the Jersey Shore for like older people. House music blasting. And if you're under the influence of alcohol, it 
could be fun for you. But for me, I was sitting there sober. It wasn't until a girl pulled me aside. She didn't really speak English that good. And she gave me a little pink baggie. And I had never seen anything like this. And, that, and I did. This is, that's not true. I did. You did some shoots in the barbershop studio over the course of the year. But you also did a lot of nice stuff outdoors. We took that one trip to Yosemite. <laughs> <laughs> wow. Speaking of that, yeah. That was a spooky trip. You guys want to play a game? I got a board game we could play. Do you need a Ouija board, no. bro? Jeff, at what point do you turn off all your stupid bullshit and let us enjoy our night? What are you talking about? I don't want to be around that board. Bro, are you crazy? It's a game. Ooh, <laughs> look at us. Ooh, no. Oh, look. Oh, it's swimming. Game. I L L. Mike? So that was a great trip, though. That Yosemite trip was one of my favorites of the year. We, that was another one where we all bonded quite a bit. We did. And that was a time where I didn't feel like making a funny video. What if I feel like spooking people? Once in a while. We're seeing you're fucking laughing. Wow, wasn't that crazy? <laughs> <laughs> oh, the Nerf video, Nerf's memorial video, was also kind of a 50-50 split with Mike Steele and my content. That's probably my favorite video I've ever made because the emotions I was feeling in that moment, I felt happiness, sadness, fear, and I felt betrayal, which is just something that I always feel. So all these emotions at once was a moment that I'll never forget. And we got to send my boy off and honor him like he deserved. And I felt good. I felt like he's watching down from heaven and he's proud. I know I never told you this, but you were a good boy. Well said. All right, P Nerf. We love you. You don't give a fuck. No, I didn't know him ever. very well, to be yeah, honest. Yeah, so don't lie. All right, now that his haircut's almost done, let me talk about my favorite video of this year, where I went with absolutely no training at all to do the toughest feat known to man, an Iron Man. Well, a half. Let's just f***ing say that, because I know that's what everybody's thinking. But one of the comments on the video I just got, and I thought it'd be perfect time, and it was like a little Christmas present from Santa just came and dropped it down. So I'm just gonna read this real quick, and you're good, you still got plenty of time, right? No, I okay. don't have plenty of time. I had to leave an hour ago, Jeff. Okay, let me just read this off real quick. As someone who just recently started getting into running earlier this year, this was very inspiring and motivating to watch, oh, Jeff. Man. Period. Mike flying private jets across the world, eating stale burgers in back alleyways gets a bit repetitive after a while. But videos like this one make a meaningful impact in people's lives. Why am I? I know this is, I know this because that's what this video just did for me. I hope y'all continue to do cool shit like this in between your regular content. Much love. Guess you gotta do an Iron Man. Why was I brought into it? I didn't do anything wrong. You did, you didn't hear the part? Flying private jets, eating burgers, promoting bad health. That I people, have a 99.4% The environment, you're burning up all that fuel and it's messing up the environment for our children and grandkids to come and great grandkids. They're all gonna die now because of those private jets you're flying on. Climate change, what? what? You Why are you making that fucking... face? You don't think it's real? What are you, a climate change denier? What do you work for the EPA? What are you doing? Cut my fucking hair. I gotta get the fuck out of here, man. That's what you're gonna say? What I work for a and you just made up some initials? <laughs> what do you want me to say? This guy's the f***ing Mr. Scrooge over here. I'm having a tough here. time. All right. Why? Because I know that the year is coming to an end and it was a great year and I had a lot of fun and I don't like when good things come to an end. Well, it's time for the main event. Get away from me with that razor because we all know what happened last time. It's time for his rematch with the blade. We're gonna shape him up and I'm gonna do it blindfolded. Hey, you know who I like? Mike. <laughs> I thought you were going to say something about someone else. All right. Hold on. Just trust bro, me. Bro, get away from me, bro. It's the end of the year. No, get we away from me. Get rid of me. We can't actually do this. I'm going to f cut him up. I'm done doing dangerous shit. We're in our 30s. This was just a joke. I'm not actually going to cut his hair with a blindfold on. We don't have to do that stuff to get views. And you know what? Sometimes, Sometimes I don't, don't want to get, get views. views. That's his new slogan. We're maturing. It's not all about the views. I want to be the most underrated content creator on the platform. That's underrated? Underrated, yeah. Because my shit's so good and it doesn't get that many views. I heard a ringing bell this morning And in that dream I heard a warning Saying leave the rest, take only what you need <laughs> Big 
We're All pretending. Right. It's I'm LA. I'm not I can't pretend. The way the world gets lonely when you got no one on your side. You got no one <laughs> Sister and brother Cause you only got one friend You are all done, my friend. Thanks, Jeff. Or should I say, thank you, brother. Of course, yeah. All right. Okay. All right. That's it. All right, I'll see, you, I'll see you next year. And Merry Christmas to everybody and happy birthday to me. And also, Jesus, you know, his is coming up soon. So if you guys want to get somebody a present for Christmas, get yourself a deodorant. If you want to get me a birthday present, get yourself a deodorant or get one for your stinking friend. Here, there you go. Use it. What about me? Also, a nice little present. We are going to be doing a giveaway. Somebody that buys a deodorant from now until the end of the year. We're going to pick someone and we're going to fly them out here. We're going to put them in a luxury hotel. Where you're going to hang out with us. A couple uh, East Coast scumbags and we'll give you a haircut. All right, that's it. Hit that like button and make sure you subscribe. I never said that once on this show, on this channel. I just want to go to Burning Man and struck my own dick. I just wanna go to Burning Man and suck my own dick on a spaceship.